Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Salam Britain Ramadan edition. Yes, and we have a very, very, very special I'm guest so all the way here from Malaysia. Yes. Um, and we have Husseini Azizi, a 20 year old Malaysian student from the University of Westminster. I am honestly so, so excited. He is a young talent who has been reciting the Holy Quran and performing nasheeds for Islam and the Prophet since he was just four years old. Yeah, and Hussein is known for his beautiful voice and his ability to touch people's hearts with his recitation and performance. So today we will be sharing with, he will be sharing with us his passion, passion for Quran and Nasheeds and will be performing live as well for us here in the studio. Yes. And uh, we're so looking forward to that. We and, uh, are. And we've been informed that there are many, many people watching in from Malaysia today. So, assalamu so alaikum. Salam to Big, everybody in Malaysia. Big and shout. we want to now introduce our guest. Our guest um, assalamu alaikum, Hussein. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Welcome to, to our Islam couch. channel. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, thank you so, so much, much for being here, honestly. How are you? How are I'm you? Good. I'm good. Uh, I'm feeling nervous. No, but I'm good. I'm good. No, we are so honoured to have you here oh, today, you. and uh, we are really looking forward to hearing you. As we have had a little uh, sneak, uh, you know, preview before. Yeah, but, uh, I was you know, saying I heard Bismillah Rahmani Rahim, and I had chills. So, yeah. Alhamdulillah, yeah, mashallah. Yeah. So we're really excited, and we want to know a little bit more about yourself before we go on to hearing you. Um, you know, tell us a little bit more about your background. How do you, you know? I know you, you you started it very young, but what inspired you? What got you? into this at the age of four. Okay. Amazing. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum alaikum. and foremost. Yes. Alhamdulillah uh, Rabbil Alameen. Thanks to Allah for everything. Yes. And absolutely. thanks to Islam channel as well for inviting yeah. me and giving me this very big opportunity. Mashallah. <laughs> and yes, my answer to your question is that um, I started at a very young age. Um, I started around four to three years old actually. I started like singing Nashid songs first. Um, I was in a kindergarten. Um, I was just yeah. on the stage by myself, yeah. holding the mic alone. Wow. Yeah. So I don't quite remember these memories, but my parents are actually those, uh, like the ones that actually uh, reminded me of these happy memories in my life. Oh, and Aww. for the uh, Quran uh, recitation as well, uh, I started at a very young age as well, I think around s five to six years old. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my parents actually are the ones that actually uh, taught me how to recite the Quran. Yeah. So like. I'm a Malaysian, I was born in Malaysia, raised in Malaysia, yes. so it's a very challenging thing uh, to actually learn how to recite the Holy Quran because yeah. Malaysia, we have, own, we have our own language, which is yeah. uh, Bahasa Melayu, so we don't have Arabic in our national language, yeah. so it's completely, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, other countries' language. Yes. So we have to put extra effort in learning the Holy yeah. Quran. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, so, wow. Alhamdulillah, so, I, I managed to uh, recite the Quran the way I am today because of my parents. I'm Aww. always thankful for that. Big, big well, thank shout you out so to much. Them. Yeah, Hi. thank you Hi, so parents. much uh, to Hussein's uh, mum and dad who yeah. are watching today, all the way in Malaysia. And uh, well, how amazing to to um, you know what an honor it must be for them to yeah. you know, f as you said about the language, you know, to actually make more of an effort to learn and recite uh, in such a way yeah. uh, in Arabic is not an easy task. No, and, um, and actually, I wanted to ask you that as a mum myself uh -huh. and having a, a son what would you advise to our young boys to help them to connect back to the Quran to want to do nasheeds that help them to remember the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu for example do you have any advice for them um, you know there's this one hadith uh, from Sahih al-Bukhari and uh, what the Prophet said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said uh, wa sallam, wa sallam. that uh, those who recite the Holy Quran with a very, very beautiful voice, with a melodious voice, uh, with a uh, calm voice as well, they are considered as a company of uh, the noble and also companions. Uh, companions that yeah. they are very close and also the um, loyal angels. Yeah. So if you want to be part of it, so we have to actually recite the Holy Quran. First, of, first of all, before uh, having a good voice or melodies, the way you, you recite it very well, you have to learn how to recite it first. Yes, of course, so, learn how to read it, understand it, and then be and able that, to uh, present it the way yes. you, you, know, you will be showing us later. Um, that is... Um, so as a, as a Muslim, we should, we should take, like, consider that you know, in yes. our life. I mean, how does it feel? How does it feel um, when you're reciting? Where, what, where are you, you know, in, what kind of zone are you in, in your mind? Um, 
I used to recite, to be honest, this is my, my own experience. I used to recite okay. the Holy Quran without um, understanding the meaning because I'm not from uh, Arab, uh, right. any Arab countries. Yeah. I'm from so. Asia. So I started to actually like uh, reciting it and understanding the meanings of it. And it gave me a completely view, a different view of the Holy Quran itself. Mm. Yeah. And it made me uh, understand it better and recite it be better as well. So. Yes. So yeah, I think that that's it. I, think. I, lo I love that. So to contemplate on it really helps you to connect more, of course, subhanAllah. Yes, and so, it will give you more passion on reciting it. Yeah. And it will connect to other people's heart when you recite it. Yeah, of course. Even sure. though you, you don't really understand it, but people will, they will come my voice and also the recitation of the Quran will touch the people's hearts. So. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, when anything is said with so much depth, like the Quran, of course, and it's said in such a beautiful, melodious way, it, it, it pierces to the, you know, to, you know, to the heart. Um, mm. But you know, tell me a little bit more about you know because you were very young yes. when you were perform like uh, when you started performing. Did, how did you feel? Did you get nervous? Did mm. you did you usually get pushed on the stage like no, oh, you have to do it, try <laughs> it, try it. You know, did you kind of or were you like did you feel kind of very natural at it? How did you feel at such a young age? Yes, four, so, yeah. it's very young. Um, I don't know. I think I was born this way. I mean, wow, alhamdulillah. Born to do, yeah, it's from Allah. <laughs> yes, it's from Allah. And um, actually, my mom as well. She she always tell me this uh, memories in my life as well. Whenever I'm very young, I think around four to three years old. Yeah. Uh, if I'm hungry, I w I have bad mood and I will not sing. Oh, but oh if gosh. She feeds me. <laughs> she feeds me straight away, and I will like keep singing like in inside the car, like the whole car trip. You know. Yeah. yeah. The whole trip, I'll just sing. So from there, my mom realized that I could actually sing. You know? Yeah. And yes, do I get nervous? Yes, of course. I, I'm nervous now, but not as much yeah, as... Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's good to have a little bit of nerves because it shows that you really care for something. It gives you adrenaline yes. as well. Sometimes it gives a better performance. Yes. yes. You, and you know, when you, like, uh, for the first time ever, if you uh, sit on the uh, driver's seat in your car, and yeah. for the first time you ever you want to drive the car, you get very nervous because yes. you will think what people will say about you, what yeah. people will like do to you, will they hit you yeah. or will, will you hit them? And also, mm -hmm. uh, will they honk at you? Yeah. So, but if you drive the car every day, you go to work every day, every single day, you get used to it. It's yes. It becomes yeah. a part of your life. Of course. So, and then, 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 then there's no nervous, like you will be not nervous at that moment. So yeah, same yeah. goes to mind. So, so what, what I would love to know is what is the preparation like? So if you're going to be go giving a show for Nasheed or doing Quran, what's the back preparation for that like? Um, I usually, for example, if uh, I, I'm, I have to uh, prepare for my presentations or my, warm up. my oh. performance, yes, yeah. uh, it will take me around three to four days before. Okay. Oh. Because oh. I want to make sure that I actually sound good and then it's perfect. For me, it's perfect, but for other people, it might not. But I'm, I just satisfy myself on that. Okay. So I'll be recording my own voice. You know, so there are a lot of people out there, they don't like hearing their own voice. You yes. have to. When yeah. they record, when you they sing to. or whatever, they will be like, oh, I don't like my own voice. But yeah. even me, myself, I don't like my own voice. But that's that's what you have to do to improve yourself yep. on that. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So do you, do you do you take um, or do you have to uh, take something out of your diet or something to that will not affect your voice? Yes. Uh, first of all, if you recite the Holy Quran, you cannot eat uh, spicy food that much yeah. and okay. ice as well. Okay. Cannot, that is not your your drink also not to be too hot, just like warm. Yeah. Is that what like a room temperature? Yes. These are great tips. I know. Yeah, I but know. Even if I tell you these tips, I don't I don't follow it as well. Oh <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say that we're yeah. on TV. Well, you, oh, okay. you better look after though yourself and follow those tips because yes. you know you no, want to be doing this. Uh, you're you're giving us something so great. Um, it's fantastic, honestly, and you know it's been amazing just hearing about you, and I know. You're just getting started. We have so Thank much you. more to look out for from you. What? Where can we find you? Where should we be following you? Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well, in YouTube as well. You just write Hussein Azizi in YouTube, in uh, yeah. Facebook. Hussein but, Azizi. Yes, in my Instagram as well, Hussein Azizi. And it's it's spelled differently for the uh, username because it's uh, it's Instagram. Of course, it's yeah. Hard. There's, there's so, a well, there'll be yes, of course. May we understand those Allah issues. bless you, and we'll but, definitely um, be hearing more from you. We're gonna very, hear very more. Soon. Thank you. We're gonna hear definitely more from you. Yeah. Um, but I think it's uh, it is now time for another commercial break. That was an amazing conversation. But don't go anywhere. Hussein will be reciting verses of the Quran and performing a nasheed live right after this.
Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Salaam Britain Ramadan edition. Now, we were speaking to Hussein Azizi before the break, uh, a student that's here from Malaysia, a student here in UK, in London at Westminster, but from Malaysia. And uh, we had an inter interesting uh, conversation and an we will be going over to hear some of his recitation. And uh, I think it's now time it to now do time that. time to hear him recite. Yeah, the moment has come. A few and of so the verses of the Quran. So, Bismillah, whenever you're ready, Hussein. Please take it away, inshallah. Thank you. <coughs> 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 إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر ساعة 
Uh, of his age to be sat here was an honor for us yeah. honestly and such a talent alhamdulillah barik and i think it means it touched me even more to know that he saw the importance of reflecting on the meaning uh, yeah. my eyes are yeah yeah to read, to to understand arabic at uh, a young age and to be able to recite it and in a such a melodious way wow. is not an easy task no. so very and well done to see the dedication as well really yes taking... the dedication and effort for the years um, and that's a, a girls again a big you know um uh, congratulations to his uh, yes. Hussein's uh, parents to all of uh, all of you in Malaysia how proud to they so must proud. be we're so we're so honored to have yeah it was great it was great to have today. that uh, recitation I uh, just kind of uh, felt a bit blown away I you know, know honestly the... I sat here trying not to cry I've got the shivers and it the words of Allah it's different when you see it in in person as well isn't yeah. it when you can see you know people actually reciting like that uh, you know it does it does something to you it's definitely but... one one to look out for Hussein <laughs> we, we, I think we have a lot more to come yes so him, we have Allah. also Hussein who's also uh, prepared in a sheet for us so are we going to now go over to um, switch over and, and see. I think yeah, in we'll just be a moment. Him in just a moment, and I'm excited to hear. I'm excited to hear the difference between the voice for the Quran yeah. and then the voice for Nasheed. Yeah. Also, it's different. I think because of the positioning. Yeah, like he was when you're sitting that, right? and when you're standing. It's uh, you know with your diaphragm and everything. There's a there's a difference. Yeah, isn't yeah. There? Yeah, he was. Well, saying those that who to sing us. know. So yeah, well, well, those who are I reciting do not Quran. Sing. I do. I speak. <laughs> But I know he was saying that there was a difference to sit to get more breath and then to yeah. actually stand to sing. Sing. You, it's better to stand to sing. But anyway, let's. Uh, I think it's time now. Let's uh, let's stop uh, going on and on, and uh, let's actually watch Hussein and to see what he has for us. Yes.
Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, oh that was amazing. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Yes, wow. <laughs> wow, that was uh, totally, you know, um, you know, different to what we heard before. But again, you know, so beautiful. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just like, wow, you know, it's... Um, it's so, you, so you don't great have us speechless that... very often, and I think we're both quite <laughs> speechless. It's absolutely amazing. What a talent.